really haven't had much winter yet here in New England this year, but we know the snow and cold are going to come. Retired U.S. Army Sergeant and 82nd Airborne Division Paratrooper Bob Prince is a disaster preparedness expert. He operates the Storm Ready Store in Chicopee, and he came by to show us some of the things we all should do and have to be prepared for any cold weather emergency. That's what it's all about, protecting our family, protecting ourselves, being a good neighbor, helping our neighbors, being a leader within your street and community, because this is all about leadership. Let's talk about the fact that, you know, and we were saying this just before we started taping, but we Americans are, are spoiled, yes. I think, in a lot of ways. You know, we, we don't really plan for disasters. No. We, we run to the grocery store when they say it's going to be a big storm. We get yeah. some milk, some bread, and some eggs. And, yeah. you know, but we're not ready if the power's out and we can't no, cook no, the right, eggs. Correct. We just expect exactly. the police, the fire, the EMTs, National Guard, they're going to be there. I'm in trouble. Right. They're going to be there. Well, yeah, but maybe but not right away. A, there's a time frame. And you're talking most of the time at minimum seven days or longer before outside agencies converge on your affected, your particular area. There's going to be a lot of affected areas. Nor'easters cover, what is it, northeast. square miles. <laughs> so yeah. we're on our own for, it could be many, many days. You say minimum, you've got to be ready for 72 Absolutely. hours. Oh, you know, I, far, I have 72 hours minimum, but I try to talk people out and I say, listen, go for a week. If I get them to go for a week, I'll say, look, it, try a month, you know, because my goal is really a month to get my people, and it's really... You can do it in a cost-effective manner if you have guidance, and this is what I do, and I can guide people to have a month's worth of supplies at a really minimal cost. Let's take a look at some of what you got okay. now. If we're talking winter, it's right. going to be cold. Right. You're going to need right. to, to heat yourself and your exactly. family, especially if you've got little ones or right. older folks who are even more sensitive. Now, you were showing me this is a kerosene heater, Well, no. and I said, wait a minute. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Uh, propane. 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 Yep. It's... The kind of thing that was not legal in Massachusetts no, no. till recently. They made some exactly. modifications. Exactly. You can buy it. You can yep. use it. And that's going to really help right. you out. This is the Massachusetts model. And it just recently, they made a Massachusetts model. The other 49 states could use this heater, which has been around for decades. But we couldn't in mass. But now you can. This is the large unit, the, the big buddy heater. Two one-pound propane cylinders in these wings here. Mm -hmm. You'll get about five hours out of one can on low so two cans on low 10 hours on high not much longer because high burns a lot of fuel however we will heat up 400 square feet with this in a safe manner it has a low o2 shutoff switch it has a tip over switch it also has a built-in fan that can be powered by 4d batteries or an electrical uh, connector which distributes excuse me distributes the heat in a more efficient manner thus allowing us to turn it on and off as we need it instead of it being continuously on wasting valuable fuel let me again stress propane sorry i yes, said kerosene right. kerosene is the dangerous do stuff the propane <laughs> yeah. okay one of the things you say do you mentioned 400 square feet that's a pretty yeah. good size area a family can gather and huddle and probably the say, size of your studio yeah, here. you say organize your house yeah. to be ready well that's the first thing you can you can start doing that now well you want to worry about um not worry but get into buying the proper um, supplies, cool. But right now, today, you can start organizing your house. And what, what does that? What do I mean by that? Get your blankets, your quilts, um, nails, your hammer. Put everything in a specific location, because when the lights go out, you're not going to have time to scramble down in the cellar looking for this, that, and the other thing. What we do, what we do with the blankets and quilts is we want to basically live out of only a couple of rooms instead of eight rooms, because we have no heat in the house other than our heating source. So the blankets and quilts come into play by placing them over windows and doorways, blocking the cold out and keeping our heat in. Okay. Tree limbs come down, yeah. heavy, heavy wind. Yeah. It's an older house especially. Yeah. Wind's coming in. Yeah. You got covering, a, a heavy-duty plastic yeah. sheeting, and a way to put it up. Right. Well, we have is, like you said, tree strikes, very common. Even in a high wind, debris flying breaks a window. Um, you're perhaps not going to be able to get to it during the high wind, for instance. But as soon as it's done, 6 mil plastic, not 3 mil, not 2 mil, 6 mil, very strong and durable. It's what we're looking for. It's a quick, temporary fix to an immediate need. Okay, you don't know how long it's going to be before you can no, get no. out and get foodstuffs. Right. So you want to have, you've got uh, <clears throat> materials here, right. big containers. Buckets. Of, of some, right. yeah, yeah, buckets, buckets. big buckets. Yeah. Of, uh, and this is amazing. This has got beef stroganoff, it's got lasagna, yeah. it's got chicken teriyaki, and more in there yeah. for, uh, you know, a, a family to eat. Exactly. For, for a, that, that's good for Complete a long, meals. long time, right? right? Complete meals. 
all simple. You know, you don't have to buy. If, if you just want to get it done quick, buckets are the way to go. A lot of good protein there. Yeah. You got the, the MRE, yeah, the military no yeah. meal ready to eat. Yeah. You can get those in, in your store yeah, and absolutely. other stores. Exactly, sir. The MREs are a fantastic meal. They have a minimum seven-year shelf life, a large variety, and they have a lot of food in them. Let's show this because th yeah. this is so cool. I'm looking at this. This yeah. looks like, like a safety yeah, canister right. or something. It looks like nothing. This is, and I, I think they've got the cameras ready. This okay. is a yeah. high-intensity lantern. Yeah, absolutely. Three AA batteries. We're going to get 50 hours of light out of that thing. LED lights, they will never burn out. Lightweight, portable, durable, hanging on off a hook. I can't speak highly enough about these. These are the only things we carry at the store. Just an outstanding product. And all you do, open That's it, it. That's close it. it, no on-off no, switch. Right. You, you can't, that you can't find in the dark. Out. Right, right. You it's open it, close it, there it is. And again, you know, three AA batteries, you, 50 hours of light, you cannot beat that. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so we showed folks the yep. food, yep. showed them the light so they can see where they're getting right, the food. Right, You got to cook it. There's a way there to do go. that. Right. Now, this is a stainless steel unit, which I personally prefer. This has all pros to it. Very stable. It's, you know, there's large cooking base to it. You can put a large pot on there. It's not going to tip over. The fuel in that, it looks like a, a spray paint can. One hour and 20 minutes on high. Being that it's stainless steel, it gives us, what, the long-term storage mm -hmm. that we're looking for with no rust spots. It, it's a fantastic product. Got about a half a minute left. Okay. Big thing, though, you told me is people got to get in the mindset. Yeah. We have to lose the, when does Home Depot sell out of snowblowers, if you remember? Yeah. After the snowstorm. Yeah. We have to smash that mold. We come from a culture of preparedness. Mom, Dad, and Mem and Pep, Grandpa, Grandma. They, they were, this was automatic to them. We've lost that with technology. Technology has taken, replaced preparedness with a false sense of security. Our cell phone is not going to get us out of trouble. This stuff is going to get you out of trouble. So we have to get back to the mindset as I need to get a little bit prepared. We, we face a lot of events in our nation and worldwide. We will be seeing them sooner than later. If you don't have this now, you won't have it then. Better to be prepared a minute or excuse me, a year early than a minute late. Bob Prince from Storm Ready in Chicopee. Thanks for being with us, Thank sir. You.